Might be. It just depends on where your mic's at. If your mic's directly below you, breathe out your mouth. If if the mic is in front of you, breathe out your nose. Chase is like, I'm gonna breathe out of every fucking hole I got. (laughs) Every hole I got. Let me exhale. Every single hole. Jose heard every hole. Jose's on. All Jose heard every single. Every hole. Okay, this is a good time. Every hole is a goal. (laughs) Oh, oh, hey, that's my god. That's a type. Cap to cap. Oh yeah. Welcome everybody. It's Cup to Cup episode 242 for real this time. Uh, last week it was 242, but then I messed up because it wasn't. <laughs> uh, but 242 is always more fun because the number 242 is way cooler than like 241. Uh, it's just kind of fucking boring. Uh, the episode was awesome, but this episode is going to be better. Mm. I just got a good feeling. The reason that I got that feeling... That tonight's gonna be a good night because I got all my boys here. Every single Woo. fucking last one of them, whether I like it or not, they're all fucking here. Um, wow. Chase, look at goddamn gorgeous. He, we got him set up, folks. Maybe for life. Uh, mm. He's finally got his camera f- fixed. Uh, now he's just got to kind of mess with his, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, the fading. settings a little bit. Yeah, a little, a but little glittery. I'm a little, a little glittery. Friendly advice. A little We've glittery. Been trying to give him for what two years now. He finally accepted. I think this uh, is the first time you've ever given okay. advice on my setup. We also have Jose here. Welcome in. What is up, guys? I'm back, and a little like. Hi. I feel like nobody even hey. noticed that I was gone last week. It was like, all right, you back to. Back to normal. You weren't here? See? I thought you were on the podcast. I thought you were here. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. That's weird. But you we did, are, you we did are. this is where we fucked up, though, right? Mm-hmm. I just want you to know Damn. that it is officially March, which means we are that much closer to June, motherfuckers. Just oh, wait. Oh, God. Fucking kill me now. Just wait. <laughs> just <come> uh, no. <laughs> Speaking of killing me, uh, Chris, you're fucking killing me tonight with that. What's that? With that beer, man. What's it's wrong just, with the beer? It's just weird to see he Chris drinking it's just beer. beer. Uh, he's, it's he's, good. It's a juicy IPA. It's pretty he tasty. Went on a, he went on a Tito's tirade juicy. last episode. Yeah. It says right uh, there, juicy. Uh, oh. Thank you. Is that Bob Wait, Marley? Is that got a Confederate flag on that? No, that's the Tennessee state. That, that's the Tennessee state flag. No, no. What's the, flip it around. Flip it around. And then show me the one with the state. <laughs> flip your no, it's beer the same thing. upside down. <laughs> oh, flip it up. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. No, Bro, you can tell Tennessee is just one click away. Hell from yeah, boy. Get your Tennessee beer right there. <laughs> this is a G- IPA, Tennessee. Uh, oh, speaking of IPA, we got Jason here. I don't know. Something's wrong with him. He's, he was not going to tell us. So, Come on, Jay. What's up? Chris, what what what? Up? Jay, are you out of You're not the one that spilled 30 pounds off? of uh, dog food before you came out on the show. <laughs> I, that was I the, just that noticed was... that Jose did text that to me. And when you told, uh, prior to us recording, Jose told us a story, but you failed to tell us outside of the text that it was 30 pounds of dog food. Yeah. That's a different story, bro. It's a lot. I said it in it's the text. I said it was a 30 pound bag of dog food. That Jason, was, once I get on this, I don't read. read I, don't, I turn off the phone, basically. He gets so. in his reels. He gets in his reels. He's, he's reeling. He's, he's always, in, in, the zone. He's he's always like, in the reels. I respect you getting in the zone uh, for the podcast, but like, you're a little zoned out right now. So yeah. I'm zoned out. Like, what in. I was zoned in on was the fact that Chris, did no one else pick up the fact that he said juicy the way that he said it. Like, it was yes. like I'm having an IPA juicy. <laughs> juicy. 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 Is that not juicy. how he normally says the word juicy? No, I've just never I, I don't know if I've said it differently. Before. <laughs> that could be the first Jose time I've said it. Jose picked up on it, and so I was happy that someone else picked up on juicy mm. like he did. Mm. Um, Jose's got me. Pick up on juicy. <sighs> We've said that word a lot now. Yeah, juicy. It is. Chase is counting. You know what else is uh, juicy? Mm. Neuro gum. <laughs> <laughs> they hit us up. Mm. They hit us up. Actually, mm-hmm. yeah. they really. They said, What's I mean, the, the update? Breaking flies. news. Dun dun. Um, dun, dun. They said we appreciate the love and we'll uh, give us an address and we'll send you a bunch of stuff. So we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, this turns into a relationship that pays. 
Yeah, um, that'd be and, great. And currency. In but, other, I mean, I'll take the gum. We're, we're 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 buying the gum like crazy. So I yeah, mean, at this point, like if, I can, if we get enough of it, I can spread it out. It saves us a couple of dollars. But Chris, yeah. are you the only one that hasn't tried it yet? No, you got yeah, it. No, I haven't, I haven't tried, tried it. it. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried I it yet. I need it. to get some. Mm-mm. No, I didn't get some. Some random person that I work with who does not listen to the podcast, oh, I accidentally good. sold them into it. Good job. They're like, oh, this would be really great if. If 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 there was something that I could just chew on right now that would give me energy because I hate energy drinks and I just coffee doesn't really do it for me and I was like well it was let me like, tell you let me hold on a second First do off, I have some news for you of something that I have never tried <laughs> cocaine funny because like cocaine. another person that doesn't listen to the podcast is starting to take it it's my wife and so I finally turned it on turned her on to it because uh, Jose you might be able to like. I forgot what it is, but it's like a version of Adderall that she got prescribed by her doctor that she can take while breastfeeding because apparently Adderall can get carried through the breast. There's all kinds of different shit. People say yes, people say no. So she was like, I don't want to take Adderall while breastfeeding still. So they told her to take this other stuff. And she was like, that stuff is stupid. Like she felt like she was like freaking out. And then mm-hmm. she like would just was like die down, like, like, like going or... and crash. Stratera, was Concerta. Concerta. Maybe. I don't. That sounds, How do you know maybe. all that shit? What are you saying? Because I used to be on all that shit. Yeah. yeah. So God she took it and... fucking dick beer. <laughs> she hated it. <laughs> she, she hated it, Jose. And so oh, she was, I was like, just take the fucking neural gum and let me know if you like it. So yeah. she takes it like when you start crashing at 2 o'clock and she was like, okay, this isn't that bad. I was yeah. like, she doesn't try anything I tell her to try until someone says something and I think someone <laughs> Other than you. something about trying. <laughs> yeah, if I recommend shit, she'd be like, fuck off, I'm not listening to you. But then she saw someone... I is think she wrong? Oh, page. she's I mean, like, oh, I'll try it now. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. She's like, oh, I, that that complete stranger that posted on your page liked it. Let me, let me. I'm gonna give it a I shot. I told now. you about that two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not annoying. So. What is? So, how's your it dick is. beer going, Kev? Oh, bro. Uh, well, yeah, going is, through it. I just emptied out um, my uh, paper towels, so mm. uh, mostly due to come. Uh, but <laughs> second, I just don't have any more paper towels. Paper towel. in here, um, mm. So. Do you have like a bottle it. of lotion on your desk? Lotion. Surely. Who needs lotion? <laughs> Who's using lotion? Wait. Just rub it. Wait. You, wait a second. What? Wait, is Chase the one that's never used lotion before? Yes, that's you... Chase that just Chase, goes into Chase a raw, just well, we fucking. Didn't say lotion. I don't believe. I believe uh, what it's was a glist lube. Uh, was anything? So you have never but, used lube for the. But you use the lotion Correct. as lubrication. Well, that's different though. You didn't say lotion. You said lube. No way, Chase I, found Luber, a I, If we said lube, or <laughs> of course he's like, no, <laughs> you didn't say that. I feel like Jose is more educated on this one, but wouldn't like lotion? Wait, why be would Jose be more educated on neon lubrication? Um, I mean, it could be used as a lubricant, but it's yeah. a moisturizer. Like, mm-hmm. no, it's not a lube. It's not a lube. I just not hate that Chase has to, to fucking. Lube. PCs, yeah, of course. Whatever chase like, the shit out. Oh, of it was just it was like, moisturizer, you said man. Lotion. You said I was also probably quite drunk while we have this conversation, so I take it very directly. I'm gonna go find the clip. I'm gonna go find it. What do you think about uh, they having a sex therapist on the podcast? I would 100 yes. be down for Why that. Good luck okay. trying to find felt, one of those. I felt like you asked that before, and we nope. said yes. No, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> First Another one, one that I try to get on here, and then every time, and I get this every time on Reddit is. I, I went to a Reddit sub a subreddit for feet fetish, and I asked a model to come on the podcast. Huh. She goes, "No, I don't feel like getting made fun of." And I was mm. like, "No, no, I swear <laughs> to fucking God, we're not making fun of you." She goes, "No, no, no, ask somebody else." And I've done that like five times, and every single one of them just turns us down. And I was like, "Cool." I just think that would be a good conversation. Jose's judging. Be a great conversation. Right no, no, I, I'm trying to think <laughs> if I know anybody. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to think if I got someone that. I found one on TikTok, so I mean, I'm, I'm sure you can out. find plenty of. Yeah, sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, just fuck it. Never mind. Canceled. Then go, go to that liked video and send him a message. Go to your the like video you'd have. I was go trying to find him. him. I might have liked it on my uh, burner account, actually. Oh, okay, well, wherever that. you liked it. You um, know, out of all of us, I feel like Chase has the burner account. He does not. Come on, Chase. Uh, Chase doesn't. I don't. I don't fucking have any account. Period. Hmm. Wait, That's yes, funny. You That's what you want you us to think. Account, for you have TikTok, I do not. For, you're no, you're on X. Oh, I, I do stumbled have across a. Uh, a uh, I, I still, it's still Twitter to me, Chris. Uh, spoiler, it's, uh, it's X. Wait, Jose's got juicy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I might. Uh, I don't know. Juicy. I stumbled across an account uh, the other day that was like Colorado 
Mega cock. <laughs> oh. Uh, Colorado. Da, da, da. Coach, How did you Coach Colorado Mega Cock? Colorado <laughs> Mega Cock, first of all. I don't know, he man. Just leisurely stroll through Twitter <laughs> one of days. I was like, I was like, oh, that wonder if Chase knows him. Hmm. Let's be I real. Don't. That was a recommendation. Colorado like, MC you might like, like uh, <laughs> Mega Cock of Colorado. <laughs> He's actually just Follow a DJ, that. but Jose got excited. <laughs> Anyways, we got an opening item. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, do you know how much a polar bear weighs? No, how much? Enough to break the ice. Hi, Fred Searing. How are you? Okay, folks. Uh, we have a bachelor party question. What was your favorite bachelor party you went to? What was your favorite moment from that bachelor party? Or batting practice? Because it says BP. I'm just... I'm <laughs> Jesus. I mean... <laughs> baseball season. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. It Thank is you, almost Kevin. Baseball, baseball season, season, baby. Let's go. Mm. Um, so Chris, uh, now that you're sipping a beer, I'm going to ask you first. Yep. Right on par. Uh, what was your favorite uh, bachelor party you went to? And if it's not mine, don't say it. I was going to say, if it's not Kevin's and it's not Chase getting hammered drunk at a, at a strip club, us having to rescue him, then I feel like we're all full of shit except for Jose. Cause he wasn't there cause he chose not to be with Kevin. There's personally. way better, but okay. It was a life choice. It's funny you I, say that. How many bachelor parties have you guys been to? Do you know? When I was thinking, when I was thinking about this, and the, <laughs> how, many <laughs> how many people are here? One, two, three, and one other, four. Okay. Chase is like yeah, 19, four, maybe like six 20? or seven. I think I counted eight. Oh, you're so popular! I was just a oh, fucking wait, no, question. I went, went to Phoenix. Nah, you were too. trying to flex, yeah. Chris. Just own it, bro. It's cool. You were flexing. Flex it. It's okay. Anyway. Flex. My favorite bachelor party, it was a tough question, but it was Chase's for the reason you just said. I was going to say. Not only because, yes, two Asians and a girl was a delicious food truck right outside, but nothing sure will forget was. being in whatever that strip club was called. The, I don't know, who fucking knows, but. Something like Starship 5000 or something. I don't know. Yeah, do, we'll do, do any of us know? Because I would love to I go couldn't back fucking tell you. I couldn't fucking tell you. You would love to go. Chase, back there? you can find out. Go to your Starship debit 5, card 000. statement and go figure out. When <laughs> go you pull lost the history. <laughs> Tampa strip clubs. Man, Chase this is getting how very I, uneasy. My wife right now thinks I'm cheating on her. <laughs> Star, so no, when we were in Tampa on Chase of the Starship Five Thousand. Is that what and it's called? I don't fucking know. I'm just I'm just rolling with the I'll Starship name. I'll let you know. Jose, next Jose's on it. Thank you, Jose. Two thousand one Odyssey is what it's called. Mm. God damn it, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the but content. I, I, I will say, if we ask what's the best food we've ever had on a bachelor party, and I know this is bad because Chase actually took us to a really nice one on his, I still would say two <laughs> Asians and a grill. Two Asians and a grill was pretty food damn good. Who was that it? was the best food I've ever had at a bachelor party. Who the sure. fuck was it, though, got, that went twice? Went and then went again? Was I would it? assume Jonathan. Yeah, it was j He literally, he's like, I'm going back for more. I was like, you haven't even opened that one. He's like, I'm going to get seconds. I'm like, Jesus, go for it. Me, me and Chris had some food. Uh, 3 a.m. Crystals uh, burgers <laughs> on Bourbon Street. So that I mean. was that was Phoenix's, and then that's when everybody went to bed, and we went for Crystal, and then we went back out after that. I have heard you guys mention that place for many years <coughs> now, and Chris, until which, which right place? now, two Asians, uh, two Asians, mm -hmm. yeah. and what I thought was a girl, but up until right now, I realized it's a grill, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yep. correct. Grill. All this grill. whole time, I was like, two Asians and a girl. I'm like, that's, that's a weird name for a restaurant, but okay. Menage a trois. If you will. But I mean, call that a even two Asians and a grill is pretty weird, if you think about it, too. Like, it's just a, it's a, it's definitely a weird way to open up for a food it truck. It was accurate, it was, though. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was very spot on. You're like, yep. There's... You looked in the food truck, and you're like, no lies. Okay. Yep, they tell I the truth, place. No lies yeah. I trust I believe place. you. I'll take a hibachi, please. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of stories because um, my answer mine's your... mine's Jason's. Uh, mm -hmm. First of all, great group of guys, and one of my favorite places in the world, which is Anna Maria. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still around. It, but no, it's like not did, at all. did the place die? Uh, Anna Maria's dead. Uh, the house that we were at, yeah, that's yeah. true. That did. They from I'm from my understanding, they demolished the house, which that's is indeed. just heartbreaking. Uh, but uh, on top of that. It also goes into my favorite thing that I've done on a bachelor party, which is that jet pack thing, which Ooh, is still one really of the cool. coolest, most unique things that I've ever done. Uh, and anytime like I've told someone about that or like shown them the video or the picture of Jason, you know, shirtless and 
where my God dad thought it was me for some fucking reason. What? <laughs> yes. You don't remember that? <laughs> that is. I was like, Kevin, Tom, you are you. drunk. Tom, like, you are thank drunk, you, my but friend. Also, definitely <laughs> thank not. Thank you so much. Definitely not. Uh, Kevin, that definitely. was the rudest way to like respond to that too. You were like, <laughs> he's not what? wrong. What? The he's not fuck wrong. Are you though. thinking? He's not wrong though. That but was yeah, like that the was... best shape I've been in a while too. But and that was bachelor party. I was in good shape. Man. Were you guys Thank working out prior to that bachelor? Like not because that? of you. Yeah. I was just in good shape. No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. yes, because of you. Uh, <laughs> not because of me. I didn't know if you were like, ah, oh, we're gonna be at a, at a beach, so let's all look good. I mean, that was Jose's leading up. I was like, I don't want to be a fat fuck going on that. Um. Uh, well, for a second, I thought you were calling me fat. I was like, no, he's like, I didn't want to. Well, Jose's is coming up. I don't want to be next to that fat Typical fuck. Typical Jose like, trying to find a way to be offended about something. I was just gonna English. say mm, that. Mm, okay. Mm. Um. If I Live get offended, then I just prove you right. It. So <laughs> this is good. Um. I was gonna say that there's like that jetpack thing was like is like on the list of things that I would have never done if it wasn't for you guys because there's just there's a there's a, a bunch of shit that i'm like i would never fucking do that but then i'm like oh i have to do it because my friends are doing it and i'm gonna call me a pussy uh but yeah. i have i have historically i don't know if i ever mentioned on the podcast just been a for the longest time i couldn't swim i never learned how to swim i know florida crazy stupid but i learned how to swim like really late when i was in college and so very weak swimmer and so anything that has to do with water freaks me the fuck out yeah. And I was definitely not going to do it. And then Jason guilted me into it. And I'm glad he did. Bullied. It was you pretty. Say, <laughs> you bullied. can say the B word. He bullied. Well, he bullied me. The best thing about that, Jose, and props to you, because your bachelor party was on fucking deep sea water. Mm -hmm. And then you <laughs> go into the ocean and do the jetpack, which was definitely in 15. Was It was pretty deep water. It was too. a ways out. There, so, so like, yeah. it's not, it's one thing to say like, oh, I, I'm not a really good swimmer, but I'm going to chill like in the fucking jacuzzi. But now it's like, no, let's go in the middle of the fucking ocean and let's, let's have our bachelor party there. And then also let's go and do some kind of crazy stunt with this jetpack and do it. So I, I give it was you awesome. Bro. Listen, if it was, bachelor it party was awesome as well, you. it was, yeah. that was a blast. I, I That's was my say, favorite one, in fact. Yeah, <laughs> it it is still one of my my most favorite ones because, and again, if it wasn't for Jose doing the bachelor party, because we all decided me, you, and Andy to all get married at around the same fucking time, and I was like, it's really hard for us to have a bachelor party without like carbon copying each other kind of thing. And I was like, yeah. I want to do a cruise. I want to do Vegas first, and I was like, none of my friends are gonna want to go because they don't want to pay for it. And I was like, let's do a cruise. And Jose was like, I kind of want to do a cruise. I was like, well, fuck, there goes that. <laughs> no fuck, you do that. And. Uh, so if you guys, uh, you and Michael get married, man, I'm not trying to pressure you, but if you can get a, like an all all inclusive like gay cruise, I want to go on that. Like that would be <laughs> have you seen those? Are you are you allowed? Yo. Have you, are have you seen any of the rager. videos of those? Yeah, it is bro, a full thing. blown rager, like nonstop, just men in thongs rubbing up against each other the entire time. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about any of that. I just or outside of the rager, I don't. I like I'll go into the club and I'll dance with whoever the fuck is. Obviously, I don't want to dance with thongs and like ass on me. But outside what? of that, I just, like, you're going to. <laughs> I think the entire party would be so much fucking fun. You I go all in will, on the rager. It's not just a rager the whole time, but it is pretty intense. It's yeah. it's a little that'd be a little intimidating. I don't know. That's like a a certain class of gay that like i don't particularly relate to because they look like you they're like all like buff and shit like i'm like a ken doll and they're really intense and they do a lot of drugs but could be fun could it would be, be fun. fun i'm just I, I just think like Fucking i'm a someone. white guy blonde hair blue eyes six feet i don't understand being Your a minority ego. so you throw me into oh. a, a gay thing I'm, I'm oh this is what a black guy feels like at a white wedding okay <laughs> this is different oh. you know I mean? <laughs> like it would be wild bro i would just i i honestly think it would be crazy but sort of said, i mean <laughs> uh, you could you could pass as being a gay guy though that poor black I, guy he's, he's still the black guy he's still the black guy can't hide that he's like always gonna be a black guy i was like i can play a gay guy yeah. he's like damn <laughs> Uh, yeah, my favorite bachelor party is definitely my bachelor party because it was uh, it was like one of the one times where I got to fully be the center of attention. And of course, as you know, I enjoy that. Um, an and it made it really easy. Slut. I am attention slut. It made it easy. I chose a cruise because I know my friends and I know that they're historically a pain in the ass at making decisions. So I was like, put them on a boat. 
They can't, contained. we can't lose them. Mm-hmm. They're contained sure. and everyone can just do whatever the fuck they want, which is exactly what people did. Exactly uh, I think JC did. and Paul literally oh, like closed the casino down every, <laughs> and opened every it. night. And then and opened open. it. Mm-hmm. They were like, they were like, you guys have to leave. Like, yeah. yeah, leave at some point. You, you don't open leave. for another hour. You have to leave for yeah. an hour. It's like, I'll sit outside. Kevin and, I, Kevin and I, I remember trying to work out one time. Kevin was like, I'm working out with Jason at least once. And I remember us waking up really it's early. And we basically were just zombies. We're like, we're doing this just to make ourselves feel better. But we're not getting anything accomplished. But I remember walking by and it was early as fuck every morning. And there was Paul. And there was JC at the bar ordering fucking Bloody Mar- uh, Marys at like I want to say it was like six thirty seven. Whenever Jesus. the open, whenever it was like early, I think it was sunset to sunrise or not sunset, but they, sunrise they, they closed they for like a couple bars. hours. But it was yeah, it was uh, Damn, JC bro. and and Paul are those friends in our group that are, you know, they're the ones that that can drink like. Yeah. I it's I like generally. I can maybe still take some shots here and there, but these guys can go, and yeah. good for them. I'm just feel bad for their livers. Um, but yeah, that one's <laughs> my Paul, favorite you one. You offended Paul with the guitar shit. So. I know, <laughs> I know, Paulie. I love you. Um, that one hurt uh, him, man. I know, because he is that guy too. I was speaking directly Damn. to him. Um, Damn it. <laughs> It is my favorite one because it's mine, but also because it's a really fucking good story to tell now because they'll be like, oh, you were married? Yeah, to a woman. What? Fun story. Um, (laughs) What? My favorite part, though, I I wanted to kind of switch this up a little bit because I couldn't really think of one specific thing. So instead of wanting to ask y'all a question pertaining to my least favorite thing about any bachelor party, and I might... Y'all might go right at the whole, like, well, it's because you are not it's into women gay. thing. Oh. Mm, mm-hmm. Thanks. Yep. Um, but my least favorite thing about any bachelor party is going to strip clubs with my friends. It's awkward. Mm-hmm. And it's Maybe. just it's just weird. I just, just like, I don't get into it. Gay. I don't. Okay, <laughs> never mind. There it is. <laughs> no, Jose, I back that oh, 100%. Kidding. I tell that to Emily all the time. I was like, we go to the strip clubs, and she's like, do you enjoy them? I was like, I enjoy the vibe of strip clubs. Like, there's music playing. Everyone's like, it's it's just, it just it feels like mm-hmm. it feels like a it feels like a badass moment as like guys going in a strip club. But outside of that, like, I don't want to be touched by a woman. I don't want to have a private <laughs> dance. I don't want any kind of reaction to the woman. Like, it, it Sorry, that dude. attention makes me fucking. I don't know why I can't handle it. And Emily's like, bullshit. You're just saying that to me. I was like, no, no, no. It's like I being, don't want like a woman around me I, it's fucking weird to me uh, i feel like i was like i'm sorry that you're dancing on me i know you don't want to that's how i feel my thing <laughs> well see my thing <laughs> i'm sorry you don't want to do this but my thing is how awkward my friends make it so this makes perfect sense because you're making it off awkward because you're like don't touch me don't touch me ew, ew, ew. and i'm like dude you're making it really fucking weird like stop that yeah i just like they gravitate well, i like for all of you guys like they, go ahead sorry. what no, oh, no, I just feel like they gravitate towards the shy guys or the awkward guys like me, and then they'll be like, hey, honey, what's up? Yeah, I can make it easy on you. Like, no, you're not making it totally <laughs> shy. Get, not get because you have fucking rock hard get, get six pack fuck. and fucking water. <laughs> yeah, because I'm showing up to a strip club fucking half naked. Like, they, they know I, mean, I have a look, I can tell the difference between your body and me and Chase's body. I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> It hurts that you use me as an example, but it also <laughs> like I got sorry. pulled into that <laughs> example. I was like, I was actually thinking, wow, I'm not like the worst anymore. That's great. So I'm somewhere in the middle now. You guys, what were you saying? Uh, no, I was saying I just like when you guys get rock hard. I just see you get stand up with boners. That's my favorite <laughs> mm-hmm. thing. I think. I don't was like, think ooh, he's having a good no. time. That is so club. Cool. Honestly, uh, I don't think it, I have. I have not either. Yeah, <laughs> Honestly, me neither. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, definitely no, not, bro. Kevin's got a boner walking in. Like, yeah, I got a boner right now. Like, thinking dude, about you. We're like, Kev, just... come get some shots. No, I'm chill. I'll sit. I need to sit for a little <laughs> bit. I'm chilling. Got some ice. I'm like, is that, that ice a back? ice? No, is that a thing? I've never put ice on a boner <laughs> in my life. Oh. No. Okay. Sorry. Have you? Uh, but I did think of you earlier, uh, Jose. It was <laughs> when you had a boner. No. I'm not going to say the show because you're immediately going to be like, oh, cool. It's, oh, you think yeah, all gay guys watch gay. the show? <laughs> but I was watching a show, and I'll say the show later because I don't want to get shit on for it. But one of the guys, uh, one of the girls was going on a date, and that yeah, girl was like, what, what's your hobby? She goes, oh, my hobby's uh cr- um drag queen shows, drag shows. Like, that's her hobby. And I just stopped for a second, and I was like, that cannot be a fucking hobby. That's not a real thing. Like, could you... Is that a, it, could you guys encompass that being a, a hobby to you? Like saying like if you met a girl and she was like, "What are you into?" Like I just love drag shows. Uh, that's that's my hobby. 
Not so being in a drag show, not drag being shows. a drag, just going a straight going relationship. And a girl's telling me that? Yeah. No. Nah. So it's like, I mean, what? <laughs> if, if if somebody said, I don't know, what's an equivalent thing that's not drag shows? Like, uh, my favorite thing, what's my hobby? I go to the gym. No, because you're physically doing something. What's an example here? What about like, like trivia know. night? I like to go to I, every trivia night. I like night. to go to trivia night. Like, that's my Tri- hobby. I, Does it- I think that's more of a hobby than a drag show, though. It's still a little weird, though. I love. It's I don't think it's like. Yeah. I love going. I don't to think every it's a hobby trivia night. But. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. First off, I love drag shows. I think they're fucking fun. I will always say yes to it. But I'm cl- I'm just saying at the, at calling it a hobby. I feel like there's something out there that you got. My you got to be doing. I go to not, all the theater uh, performances. Like, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess that is a hobby if you think of it. That if you is, think yeah. of it as like art and theater, which yeah. it is, obviously. So maybe it is. I don't know. I just thought it was weird. By the way, the show was Queer Eye, which yeah. is... <laughs> Kevin's like, <laughs> nailed it. I said that. Kevin called that. Shocker. It's a great show. Fuck off. I used to watch it when it was the real Queer Eye for the straight guy you know, back in the day. But this one's much... Is it, what is it now? now? Uh, it's, I mean, it's changed, okay? It's a different... Uh, I don't know. It's not changed. It's, it's just literally different, the same. Man. The only difference now they is they added a uh, life coach. Now. They're really oh. straight, you know. Oh. What? Man. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even seen the new one, uh, but I used to watch the old one. It's good. One. You'll it's definitely good. cry. The new one will. No, I'm not you. into that. I'm not trying oh, to. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I He's don't not into cry. the new one. Oh yeah. No, I definitely cried. The, uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy was the first time I learned that I was shaving wrong because uh, they were like, "Oh, you shave with the grain," and I was like, "I always go a grain every fucking time." And how did you not uh-uh. have razor burn, bro? And they were always like, they were always they put like a, a mic up to the guy that was shaving the wrong way, and it was like it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. And they were like, "Oh my God! Think of what that's doing to his skin." And I'm like, "Yeah, it doesn't do that much. It's not." Kevin's <laughs> like, "It doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Makes me a fucking man. I'm fucking tough. <laughs> I can handle it." As he turns to the camera, he's just bleeding like from. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> blood. Yeah. Uh, uh, but anyway, speaking yeah. of blood, mm-hmm. go. Did everybody? <laughs> I'm getting on the board, damn it. Oh, yeah, you're out. I'm going to bring this out right here so I don't forget. Chase so got that uh, yeah. OBS confidence right now. <laughs> yeah, that OBS it. is running through my veins. Jason, mm-hmm. Jason's showing us the board, which... Uh, Wait, I have one? What do I have it for? You have jack shit, bro. Oh, uh, I thought I saw one. Oh, that must Kevin, be Chris. Kevin's got one. Chris has one. And Jose actually has one. Fuck. Uh, I have I have him a little pity section in the corner uh, until Ugh. he proves that he can be on the podcast full term, and then we can do it. Uh, be right back. Mom's calling. I wow. That. You, you <laughs> didn't have to, what's the point of him putting a note up there? And like, <laughs> because he's muting us so he can talk to his mom, so he can't I mean, say I it I think we us. all kind of got it, but uh, anyways. It's all good. Um, as Jose talks to his mom, hope everything's doing hmm. okay. Um, Florida man arrested for throwing blank drink at woman during road rage. Blank. All right. Um, blank drink. Backstory behind this. If you guys don't know what Florida man is and you are new to the episode, real headline. Welcome, man. Leave out a word. Replace it with blank. They try to fill it in. I will then reveal it later. Um, so, again, Florida man arrested for throwing blank drink. Man, At woman during it. road rage. Blank drink? Yeah. What the fuck does that even mean? I'm debating on telling you a hint. Yeah, blank I'm going to do drink. it. I'm going I'm to give it to you. It's oh, a I'll fast food it. joint. Okay. So it's a drink guess from the, a it, fast food yeah, joint. Yeah, so fast food drink. So whatever the, the, okay. that type of fast food. Whatever that fast frosty food place then. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh, the branch. The branch. Oh, like Wendy's, McDonald's. Yes, a uh, Wendy's drink or blah blah okay. blah. I'll, say, like that. I'll yeah, stick yeah. with Wendy's then. Mm. Okay. Mm, oh, reliable. Don't let me down, baby. It's Taco Bell drink. Okay, I'm gonna go with McDonald's. I feel like I got decent shot. Yeah, yeah. It's a solid hot. one. Uh, Jose says hot no, drink. It's, it's the brand. Uh, uh, like Jose. McDonald's, the restaurant. Give it's us a, a it's a fat it's a fast food spot, Jose. Yeah, the actual <coughs> the actual branch. The name of the place. Um, um yeah, McDonald's. So we got Taco Bell, we got Wendy's, McDonald's. Mc, McDonald's. McDowell's. Kevin's got McDonald's. McDowell's. I got Jose's McDowell's. Dropping. Oh, me. McDowell's. Chick-fil-A. 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 Yeah, okay. I believe that's It wasn't Chick-fil-A. a Sunday then. Classy Florida man with Chick-fil-A. Classy. Chick-fil-A is a good answer. It's going to be Wawa. Actually. 
Uh, is that everybody? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Although now yeah. I kind of want to see something. Put it on the ball. Oh, 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 yeah. it's da, 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 it's da, da. Put it on the ball. Looping yeah. it up. It's Jose. It's Jose. Yeah. Yeah. There he it's is. I wasn't even here. I wasn't even paying attention. You Technically, right now, Jose is leading the big. Hey, he's leading now. right now. <laughs> oh my god! Which means I'm in last. So hey, don't no, worry. I'm in uh, last. I switched dude. out. Oh, that's fair. I switched out. Uh, what's that sound? Because uh, I got lazy and I couldn't figure out a sound for that's that fair. one. Uh, I'll do it next week. Put it on next week, Chris. But I switch it out for it's trivia. On trivia. Um, so you get another opportunity. Uh, actually, you get go. two opportunities because when we came into seven minutes, I put a sports trivia on there as well. Ooh. So you have two Let's opportunities. Let's go. Two dropping that. Chase puckered up when he heard sports trivia. Let's fucking go. Chase, like, I fucking no, lock it in. Because it's always so fucking random. We're like, it is. It's it is very like random, if you actually. don't know sports and can just guess. For sure. 100%. I'm gonna the, reason why, it. the reason why I want people to join seven minutes ahead of me, you don't need to. Uh, I don't no. know shit about sports, and I, I like this uh, uh, episode. And the trivia, you won't need to know shit because I highly doubt any person besides maybe Andy knows this trivia answer. Here we go. Cool. Um, but yeah, good job, uh, Jose. I'm going to put it on the digital big board. Thanks to our Jose. buddy, Mike. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not because I don't have a column. Well, you, he did. He said he added it. Oh, oh, not on mics, you said. No, oh, not on mics. I yeah. added it on that one. It's okay. It's okay. Um, what do we got next, guys? Just Blind hang up on rankings. your mom. No, I'm Wait. trying to get a hold of her because oh. when I went to answer the phone, she had hung up and now she's not answering the phone. Mm. She's probably like, oh, I'm watching my soap opera. Or, 100%. or Big Brother. Brother. She could be watching Big Brother. Or Big Brother. She's she could be on Big Brother. Big Wait, is that, Big Brother? is that going on right now? No. Uh, not oh. American. It's not. No. Oh, Jesus. No, I was, they have uh, Colombian Big Brother? Yeah, Big there Brother's was, international. There's, yeah. There's, yeah. There's this, there's this uh, version of it. I would like... I, I was at home with her, and I hear all this yelling and screaming. I'm like, what the fuck are you watching? And she's like, I don't know. It's this weird show with all these people living in a house backstabbing each other. And I'm like, that sounds really familiar. <laughs> I and know it's that. fully Big Brother. But That's awesome. It's all, it's all, um, it's like a celebrity version, and all the house guests are telenovela actors, and so it's really dramatic and very <laughs> over the top. <laughs> It's awesome. Do they do the do they do the actual cuts like over dramatic like where like or punch in like a or? slow like punch or and like cut to commercial like <laughs> and shit? Uh, How many drinks have been thrown in each other's faces? Many drinks. Oh, yeah. Many drinks. They are oh, sexy. Tables. Can we talk about Spanish soap operas? Those women fucking Jason's gorgeous. like I don't understand a word you're saying, but I'm not well, going to stop it. watching. <laughs> no, it was I want to say it was Danny, my next-door neighbor I went to high school with. Um, his mom watched him, and I I would be like a teenager walking in. I'd be like, I mean, I'll, I'll stay. I'll stay and watch. <laughs> I'll hang around for a bit because it's like cleavage is out. They are they're in tight fucking like outfits. They are just beautiful Spanish women all the time, and they're always either cheating or murdering somebody. One of the two. <laughs> like it's just it's bad. That's that's all they do. That's just <laughs> that's all that. they do. Gas they do. Made, made it more sexy for you. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Commercial break. <gasps> Cries in Spanish. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, all right, guys. Uh, blind rank? Stupid ass. I'm not blind 23 hours a day or 22 hours a day. I'm blind the whole goddamn time. I'm blind. Chris is gonna fuck hey. tonight. Just throwing that out. Damn, there. Yeah, that's is fucking. Chris, you mm. fucking tonight? He hears that song. He's he's Just like, like Courtney. Mm. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> give me a song prime and hit the beat. Pri prime it up. All right, while she's priming it up, shout out to Makeshift Project <laughs> for my inspiration for this segment. This one, this is right up Chase's alley. This one, we got food, but we got breakfast mm. foods. Okay, okay. breakfast. Okay. We all we all breakfast. If you will, we all know the rules. Do we? Correct. Yeah. Correct. How do they go? Yeah. Uh, one one the being the best and five being the worst. Come on, here we go. Unless That's Chris it. gives us six, and then no, six. There's and only six five. Is the best. You've there's done only it five. Once. I, I have. Done it once. I have. And but it there's threw only five. Jason's world completely it ruined everything. I was like, is six better than one? How does this work? Is it an ace? Is it a in two the future? <laughs> in the future, if I go past five, I will tell you if, if there's something. Jose, have you done a blind ranking yet? He has. Pretty yes, sure. I did. I apologize. Two or three of them. Oh yeah. shit! Oh shit! Yeah, why don't you just back the he fuck off? It, He's bro. done it. Considered myself backed. Considered <laughs> myself backed. Wow. Here we go. Breakfast foods. Your first one. Your favorite pancakes. 
Mm, yeah. Five. That's a five. Five. Yeah. Four. <laughs> Four. So everybody five minus Kev. Grits. With That's their cheese delicious. grits. Yeah, With their cheese grits. grits. Yeah, when you have to add something to make it good, it's fucking trash. So wow, cheeseburgers. Syrup. Burgers are great. A I mean, cheeseburger without, is much better. Agree, but cheese, just regular burgers are it's great. It's okay. Is a pancake good without syrup? Yeah, it's still good. No. Yeah. False. Mm. Mm. <laughs> eh. Next up, French toast. Let's get some French toast. Four. Four. Uh, three for me. I'm going to go three. French toast. French toast. What did you say, Jose? Four? Four. Kev, what'd you say? Tree. Tree. Next up is omelets. Ooh, I do mm. love a good omelet. I'm going to go one. For it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Kev's going to fuck it. I'm going to go two. I'm going to go two. Chase two. I'm going to go Kev three. Kev one. Jose three. I'm a big breakfast guy, but, you know. I can relate. I'm going to go. such a hard time with breakfast. I'm going to go two because I feel like this motherfucker is going to throw in a breakfast bu- uh, burrito. Yeah, like, that's that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. next one. <laughs> yeah, the next one, it's not. Yeah. It's at eggs is the next one. Mm, yeah, three. Two. Three. Chase three with that. I'm going to go five because so I got two. omelet one. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll go four, but I'm very confused because when I hear omelet, I think eggs. and then I was eggs. thinking the same thing. Yeah, I was same. like, that's not fair. He's going to go bacon with the last one. No, he's gonna be like scrambled eggs. I'm like, fuck me, bro. <laughs> I already said eggs. I already said eggs. He's gonna be like omelet. sunny side up eggs, poached yeah. eggs, over easy waffles. Yeah, Kev, hit it, Kev hit it right on the head. Chris. Waffles is your last one. That's right on the fucking head. Waffles, yeah. yeah. Cool. I, I really feel like two. I really one. feel like fuck, eggs waffles is, is one son of a bitch. Eggs is a type of like omelet is a type of eggs. I'm contesting that. <laughs> Contest away. It's locked in. Away. It's it's away. Away. Something for a to get offended by. <laughs> You're offended by omelets being type of eggs now? I'm no, I'm not offended by the omelet. I know you're not offended. Eggs. What you chose. It's the subcategories. Yeah. Options. It is surprising that you did this and there's no bacon or even like. Nope. I agree with him. Bacon is not a main course. Did he say main he course? Didn't say main. It's just breakfast food. But I mean, like, love look, when you guys chase the fuck out of these. Eggs? Just eggs is the main course. Fuck yeah! If you're gonna eat mm. a main course, I eggs almost eggs never could be eat just eggs. Well, well that's, that's you, food, motherfucker. Everybody else Other in people. the world just eats eggs for you breakfast. Just eat eggs for breakfast. I'm with you, Chase. I've had eggs just for breakfast. Just yeah, eggs. So have I as well. And so millions upon millions upon millions of people in the world. I'm fucking All right, well, that's blind rankings. They fucking hated this one, so we'll go. Uh, we'll no. come back in a few weeks. Maybe it'll be better. My, my thoughts on my rankings: a great uh, omelet, number one. Uh, you can put anything in that omelet, um, whatever you you're want. Right. Sh- out of uh, that list, you're absolutely correct. Waffles yeah. are number, one. number yeah. two for me, and that's great because waffles are I, better I than agree pancakes. So far. Uh, and, and then French toast is good. You know, I like I French toast. Pancakes. Yeah. You know, average and eggs. I already got omelets. I don't need it. You know. So yeah, I would switch pancakes, and I would go. I would agree with your list completely. I would just put pancakes last, and then eggs fourth. Because yeah, to this day, omelets, I don't know. Omelets what the, fuck the clear eggs number one here. Yeah, for sure. So why? What's your guys' did favorite you make omelet? It a number one? No. You know how no, he thinks. Two. That's how number he does two. it. That's what I was saying, Kev. You, you were hoping the... for a breakfast burrito. Yeah, or, or something else. Bacon yeah. or meat in general, yeah. just meat, a meat. I'm not a big bacon guy anyway. What's your guys' favorite kind of omelet? Like either name or what you want to put like in. Some good, people like have names like a Western omelet. Like, like yeah, a, like a like a, a good Western omelet. Or so I'm, Western I'm basic. Omelet. I just do like a ham and cheese. I'm pretty basic. No, I need I need like all the vegetables. Uh, yeah, I need to eat uh, it. You could throw need, some veggies in there just to make myself feel healthy. But even though I know it's not because there's onions, like pop, peppers, onions, bell peppers, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Mushrooms so, are the mushrooms, only one that can't be. Yeah. It nope, can't get be out. Omelet. Don't even look at it. I don't like the texture with that with omelet. Do you like do you like mushrooms on anything like pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll eat mushrooms on anything no. really except I, I, I will eat it with an egg i'm just saying it's one of my least additives to an omelet like it would be my last one to put in that. there i'll eat mushrooms uh, on anything uh get them away i don't want nothing if to you do can 
take away cheese and obviously eggs, Chess. what would be if you only had <laughs> one ingredient to throw into your omelet? Chess. What would it be? Ooh, you only get one. Fuck. One, only to one. Put in your not omelet? counting seasoning or anything for no an omelet. Cheese. You already have but cheese and no eggs. Cheese. What is that? Oh, other you already omelet? have cheese and eggs. Okay. You already have cheese. You already have eggs. What is that other? I gotta omelet? have a meat. It's gotta be a meat. Ham. I want some right. ham in there. I gotta have meat. I actually do like ham and omelets a Dude, lot. Dude, ham's my go-to. Yeah, I agree. I think I'll do peppers. Some green pepper, bell peppers. Peppers is on the list, but it's not number one. They gotta be a little saute though. Don't put, you put some raw ass fucking. He don't butter. want the raw ones. Get that shit out of my motherfucking face. Get it out. <laughs> Go. On. Uh, so what did you say? A meat? Which meat? Is it bacon I or sausage ham. or I ham? Said ham. Oh, it's ham. Yeah. And then Chris, what is yours? You're I like, said ham. I said ham. Yeah. You're not gonna like mine. Mine's gonna be spinach. And it's not even for the taste. Oh, it's spinach not for the taste. Spinach should be it's good. Literally it's not for though. just to make me feel like this is healthier. It's healthier. I got some greens like, in what? there. Besides, like cholesterol, eggs aren't crazy bad for you. It's high in fat. Is it? Yeah. Is that pretty high <laughs> for for like if you count your macros, eggs like if you eat eggs without just eating the whites, like you, it it it's tough to eat a lot of eggs because your fat content will go high. I heard um, that. And with that is your <laughs> nutritional fact for the evening, brought to you by Jason Payne. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> brought to you with some random shit. Um. But yeah, that's all. Salsa, that's all great on eggs. Wait, <laughs> wait, like on that top? So on random. eggs? Yeah, it was just, quiet for like anything. ten seconds, and then Omelet, salsa, eggs, like hot sauce, salsa. Interesting. I do and love hot sauce on it if because geez, look, you, you're gonna put on a western. You're putting salsa on it anyways. Ah, uh, hot sauce. I'm putting hot sauce. Hot sauce. I don't, you don't put salsa. the salsa. Salsa, on it? salsa just you, takes over. Well, you don't like flavor. tomatoes. But you, know you could put a little bit. I mean, it definitely enhances the Western omelet. And hunts. If, <laughs> if I, I think and hot hunts. sauce does a better job <laughs> enhancing it, but if there's no hot sauce, I'll throw sauce on it. Yeah, I'm not going to go dry like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> no, you could go raw. They, 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 love, the raw green, dog in that they love the green chili out here. <laughs> ooh, I yeah. do like I do like some chili. green chili. Oh, ooh, yeah. fuck. Because, <laughs> ooh, man, excuse green me. Green chili might be, actually, that might be my one It's pretty green. fire. Well, that's a they, topper, though, right? Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes. So that doesn't count for this one. You can still have it on your... Kev, calm down. Uh, you can't have it right now. Calm down. <laughs> Jose, uh, you were you were on the phone. Uh, what is your one ingredient if cheese in it, for your omelet? Cheese is already going to come with it, and obviously eggs. What's the one other ingredient that's your go-to, like your number one? Um, It's going to sound weird because you would think that I would pick like a meat, but I'm Why would go we and- think that? <laughs> well, I don't know. Why would you think that? You're the one that uh, said it. <laughs> Chase is going to disagree, um, but I'll say mushrooms. I like mushrooms in da, da, da. and mm. it's like and the um, and the mushroom gives it the amount, just like the, the taste that kind of it could be me and the texture. Mushrooms is it? Did you choose mushrooms too? No, no, I do nope. love mushrooms, and everybody was like, yeah, mushrooms, fuck you, dude. Kevin, <laughs> Pretty much. Such My words, exactly. Stupid. It's for the exact opposite of what you said. It's the texture of the mushrooms doesn't bring anything to the No, it's very me. common that uh, that the same kind of meatiness from that you get from a mushroom is found in meat. You know, it's like that. There's a reason why you can make, like, a, you know, a mushroom burger, you know? Mm. So it tastes mm-hmm. like ass. Those are also typically <laughs> thicker mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms either? Come on. No, I like mushrooms, but I said out of Chase, all the things that I choose time? not to have yeah. mushrooms on, it's an omelet. I just don't <laughs> feel like it mixes well with me. <laughs> Anything else, though, like you. I don't know. It's weird. This Jose, is the longest waffles conversation I've ever had with omelets. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> waffles or pancakes? Uh, waffles. It's yeah. I like the texture better. A pancake sure. is just a... I mean, it's a cake, well, right? Well, the it's waffles just... got the little like squares that like hold the syrup and the little... and they have the potential of having <laughs> little squares, 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 little squares. Little squares. <laughs> little squares. <laughs> Chris is the only anti. Those little silly squares. I'm not anti. I will just take pancakes, but it's not. I'm not anti waffles. I just want to smack I just you in the face with a fucking pancake. Pancakes I I'll smack you in the face with a fucking waffle, then. Ooh, baby. Chris, I trust you over a million people in the world, but the nope. fact that you choose pancakes over waffles, That's a lot of people, make me second guess my decision. Well, why do you pan. trust him on food in general? Of all people, because he doesn't eat a lot of it doesn't mean he doesn't have good taste. I still eat, believe it or not. I mean, yeah. that's to be determined, you know? Like, no one's <laughs> um, actually ever seen you eat. A yeah, that's true. It's just not a myth. I never have. Yeah. It's not true. Never ever. I've seen 
Thank you, Kevin. All right. Uh, we're going to jump into seven minutes in heaven, guys. This episode will drop on Tuesday. So if you guys haven't Not listened this. to this already and you're listening to this episode, go to seven minutes in heaven and listen to the goddamn episode. Even if you don't like sports, you'll like it. I promise. Well, from 100%. a non-sports, like, I mean, you love sports, but it's not like you're a heavy sports guy. Tell yeah. them why they should, you yeah. know? If you're ever like, interested... Okay, so here you go. This is a great... This is only one one example. <laughs> one example like, while Kevin... <laughs> just, just, go ahead and explain <laughs> it. Yeah, Kevin, well, I <laughs> and I will pitch this. All right. I guarantee you, you have... Let's say you're not a sports person, girl or guy. And you go in, you have friends that are big sports people, and every time they go into that group setting, you never have anything to talk about. Like, fuck, they're talking about sports, I'm out. You listen to this podcast or this episode for 20 minutes, you're gonna have some sports topics. You got some things to bring up. Like this one, we're gonna talk about Wilson. You can be like, oh, oh yeah, I know Wilson. He got fucking cut from the uh, the uh, Broncos. I know, blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera. Like you know what I mean? Like there's gonna be hundred percent thought you you were talking about Wilson from uh, the Tom Hanks movie. Same. Said Wilson. Castaway. I immediately thought <laughs> Wilson from Castaway. <laughs> I was like, I was like oh, yeah, I know Wilson. Wilson. The Wilson. <laughs> and there you go. You won't make that mistake where you're at the bar and they say Wilson. You're like, oh, the volleyball? And you won't say that. You won't sound like the dumbass from Sandlot. You'll be like, no. Also, there's a good chance of... that we will then start talking about Wilson about from Wilson Castaway. Volleyball. And yeah. we'll go on a tangent that has nothing to do with sports. 100%. 100%. Um, but yes, please check it out. Uh, we'll be back uh, in a brief moment. For you guys, it'll be seconds. For us, it'll probably be like 30 minutes. Seconds. A few moments later. Wow. Oh. Like, please. Say <laughs> oh, you are sweating like Profusely. a motherfucker. I'm literally Profusely. wearing a jacket. You know, yeah, I saw that. Me. No one made you do guys, that. <laughs> guys, we are back. Uh, Chester made an appearance. If you don't know who Chester is, uh, you're not an OG, and that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Check out Seven Minutes in Evan, and you get to discover Chester, uh, where basically Kevin wore a uh, I don't know a sweatsuit basically, and decided to wear a windbreaker Who? in a in in the garage. I think that was just oh, Kevin's Chester, cousin. Chester, Chester is garage. my cousin, and he's visiting. And he, as you know, when he's here, he wants to be on the podcast. So I was like, loves. I'll let you do Seven Minutes in Heaven, but that's it. But just fucking behave yourself. I don't know how he did, but. I, I would say until the end where he wanted to sell us Jesus, it got a little yeah. weird. Got a little weird at that. He's doing. He is. He has found Jesus. Is he oh, reformed? He's, he's found reformed. Yeah, he's just found him. born again. Did he find him at the playground that he got kicked out of, or where did he find Jesus? <laughs> he's still battling that little process. You know? <laughs> he's still going through or some the, things. Oh, is he allowed in the ocean anymore? He he was telling us some issue he had the with stingray. stingray. Did he talk? Yes. Oh, no. he talked about, he about stingray. He went there. Uh, he went so, yeah. there. Oh, oh, Don't tell like me he, he brought up the stingrays. Is he allowed in the ocean? Go listen to seven minutes ahead. I'm sure. I don't want to get into it. It's my, you know, you, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Uh, anyway. uh, speaking of family, we got Jose. This is uh, where we fucked up live. Are you ready, buddy? Yeah, uh, Kevin's got oh. his shirt back on, so I think right. I'm good to go <laughs> now. Been on you, you, can focus, you can focus. You can focus. Jose was getting a little, uh, little hot and bothered. He's like, well, please, I gotta Kevin, focus. Kevin also had some sweat going on, so he's glistening. It was, oh, it was beautiful, a little Ooh, shiny. Yellow is your color. Yellow is your color. Don't like, don't get uh, any ideas in Kevin's head. Mustard, um. I believe it's called. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, on the website. What is up, my people? It is time once again for another edition of This Is Where We Fucked Up, the weekly fact checking segment on the podcast where I call out the mistakes of the previous week. I was out last week, so I trusted my trusty sidekick, Mayor Adamson, to fill in for me, and he did. He also said some pretty hurtful things uh, about the content of my segment and where it comes from. Hurtful things that were mostly true. But Kev also said hurtful things at the beginning of the show last week uh, when yeah. he said he said that he was here with some of his three and then stopped himself and said with my three best friends completely uh leaving me out of the prestigious list but that's okay because i'm here now and i can say hurtful things about him too like that jason's ass is better and is. that I don't disagree Kevin's thumbs look like rotted baby carrots. So well. Ooh. <laughs> now we're even. But there were other stupid things that were said last week, so let's not waste any more time and dive, dive right in. in. Because this is 
where we fucked up in episode 141. <laughs> You think I'm gonna join you on that? <laughs> oh, Kev, I missed you this week, buddy. It's okay. I don't know. They do kind of look like baby carrots. No, I mean, no, you right. didn't Defo- say baby carrots. You had dead baby carrots. Rot- dead, rotting, dead, rotting baby, baby carrots. Dead, rotting baby well, because I was thinking, like, you know, they're a little. Okay. Anyway, Kev, we start with you. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Kev, uh, last week you mentioned that your lovely wife was wearing her earphones and listening to a crime podcast while driving up to Pensacola. And Jason asked, illegal. isn't it illegal? And while it's not illegal to not support your husband's podcast, um, <laughs> I was really surprised to learn that it's only illegal to drive with headphones in some states this isn't like a like an everywhere thing um i just assumed that it was that it was always illegal because come on it sounds dangerous so if you well that's uh 129 24 right there um so if you are a resident of one of these states <laughs> then you should not be driving with headphones in that is alaska arizona california colorado florida georgia mm-hmm. illinois yeah. louisiana oh. maryland massachusetts minnesota new york ohio pennsylvania rhode island virginia and washington hmm. Whew, quite a few there but yeah uh jason uh in this case uh, not only does Kevin's entire family not listen to the podcast, but his wife would engage in illegal activity and risk her freedom just to avoid listening to her husband's podcast. Yeah, she can't do that, dude. That's the only reason she don't listen. Kevin, that's your that's your uh, that's your out, bro. You can do weed now. She's broken the law. Now you can break the law. That's right. Now you can. Really? Right in front of her. Right in front of her. Real yeah, life. Just... Remember? 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 You... Sorry about yeah? that. Yeah. What's your crime <laughs> podcast have to say about this now, huh? <laughs> I noticed that you were wearing your headphones while you're driving. Sorry that I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's actually more <laughs> illegal. We're just a family of lawbreakers. <laughs> That's actually more illegal than what I'm about to do. Yeah. <laughs> Between that and uh, Chester's fucking stingray, we're in <laughs> yeah. some shit. Family's going through some stuff. Family's going through some stuff. Family's going through some shit. Um, speaking of the Hefners, Kev, we uh, continue with you. Last week, average height came up again. And knowing uh, how a video about height has randomly become our most commented on video on YouTube, um, I thought that I would let you know that while it might be fun to call yourself a short king, the average height of a man in the United States is five feet and nine inches. So at five nine, which you are you're, five nine, you said average. last week on the podcast, you're just an average king in more ways than one. So there you go. What's the other way? Uh, you know, thumbs. No, I'm below average. Uh, that's thumbs, way below. So. <laughs> <That's laughs> <way down. laughs> uh, yeah. What's the other? I was one? trying to be nice. I was trying to be no, nice. Well, what is it then? It's your ass. It's just average. My ass no, is above sh- average. So what's the other one? Whoa, <laughs> man! It's your, I, I'm, I, it's your penis. You Kevin, can say moving penis. on. This is a good time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this would be the time to say that. Is this when it happens? Moving on, Jason. Last week you asked about a movie where a man was obsessed with someone's calves. Now, seeing that I was a little short on content this week, I said I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to search for this and find this movie. And you have stumped me once again. Now, whether or not this is tr- actually a thing, uh, but or you made it up, there was you mentioned. Isn't there a movie where? A man is obsessed with someone's cat. I think I may have said that. Or was it Chase? I, I fucked think I up. I may have said that. All right. Next up, Jose. You're <laughs> an idiot. Jose's next. <laughs> I'm making little fireworks go off of my screen. Wait, how did you do that? Okay. I don't know. I just I just started it, doing my it started, his spirit his spirit fingers. It is, it is, it is. It's, it's whenever do it. whenever be, you be, embarrass a, a gay uh, your screen <laughs> shoots off. <laughs> fireworks all these little fireworks uh but yes chase then chase then my bad jason my apologies chase then it was you what movie were you talking I, about i actually think it's it's always sunny in philadelphia mac is obsessed with like this he thinks he gets calf he's like do you have calf implants he's like no. got he's it like, all right, yes fine, don't the calf me. implants okay that makes sense i i um i started searching and there was a joke about calves in um oh what's that fucking stupid movie with dane cook good luck chuck um and i actually watched a bunch of 
clips from Good Luck Chuck trying to find it. So mm-hmm. I subjected myself to quite a bit uh, just to realize mm-hmm. that it was that uh, always funny. That movie's raunchy as fuck. I see it a is, clip from is that Modern the one with Family. Jessica? It does it. Alba. Jessica yeah. Alba's in that. Yeah, it does not age that. well. It's, no. Yeah. no, not very Jessica good. Jessica Alba doesn't age well? Did I just hear that? No, oh, she aged great. The movie does. Dane Cook did not age well. He got mm. a lot of plastic Dane surgery. Dane Cook looks great, and I'm not going to have it. <laughs> have he's it. been uh, touched no, he's... by an angel. Uh, yeah, a needle and some surgery. Mm-hmm. Whatever, yes. Uh, last week, <laughs> Kevin, uh, where your baby bladder was acting up. You were about to burst, uh, and so you ran into the house to pee, and then you came back, and what felt like it was record timing. Jason, you were very sure uh, that um, like from the time that he walked away until he came back, that it was under a minute. You said you said over under sixty seconds. You're like right. has to be under. You, I first of all, this is oh, why I love having so friends wrong. like Jason because he's so excited about something so stupid. <laughs> he looks like a little kid on Christmas, like, like I'm about to give you a Nintendo well, 64. And now I'm actually <laughs> really interested to see it compared to his bathroom break this episode. Right. So, well, yeah, it was this. This one was a long one, but I think uh, Chester probably uh, got him uh, distracted. Chester, but anyway, yeah. last week Kevin was gone for. Ooh. One minute and 38 seconds. God so it damn. was damn. over a minute, a minute and a half. But hey, that's 11 pretty seconds impressive that, still. Uh, let's say 22 seconds of that going to and from. Bathroom. Well, it, and you also mentioned that there were some other challenges like the toilet seat. Doesn't it have, like not? You mentioned something about yeah. the toilet seat. Yeah, it, right. It, sometimes so, it's one of those like, you know, if you, it'll like come down. It's a soft close. Mm-hmm. Um so, you know. A soft close. Yeah. As opposed that's to furniture. Say, that's a furniture term. Uh, oh, got it. <laughs> got it. Uh, it was just close, and sometimes it doesn't. You gotta hold it up to be like, "Hey, this is your your primary position." Yeah, no one gives a <laughs> fuck. From house cats <laughs> to elephants, most mammals take up to twenty seconds to urinate. So that's you gotta speed uh, that up, Kev. It, wow, Jay. Yeah. Thanks for that information. Well, you know, you're forty, okay. so forty-one. <laughs> Uh, We're going with it. I'm fucking old. <laughs> and I gotta pee. Well, right, well when you when you take too long to pee, like that's a, that's prostate issues. Are you, you saying that, that I'm taking too long now? Jason was just saying that I'm fucking uh, goddamn blazing fast. I thought you were blazing fast. Well, but now so you're now not anymore. Maybe not. Now I'm and saying maybe. I'm and just... it's never a bad thing when they tell you that wasn't that fast. So we mean they. they. Mm-hmm. We mean they. Anyone? I have it. I'm not gonna have it. I'm offended. And finally, <laughs> here is last week's moment of cringe. How long would you last, Kev? How long would you last? I mean, I I can barely last any time that I put a dick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great That's it for this week. <laughs> if I missed anything, you know what to do. Slip into my DMs at HipHipOSA14 on Instagram. And thank you, Mayor Anderson, for the supplemental producing. Until next week, peace. Peace. Great, great moment. That That was so good. I just sent it to, I sent it to Andy and I'm like, can you, like, I don't know, just play with it. But like as close as you could put, make it. What did you say to Andy again? I sent him the moments mm-hmm. of cringe because he puts them. He he fixes it. He produces the, the segment for me. <laughs> Say the words, the words again. You want him to do what with it? I want him to just try it out. You know, just just work with <laughs> us. You know, just <laughs> just to touch it. it. Just play with it. Just touch mm-hmm. it up a little bit. You know, just, just touch like, it. fix it up, make it feel good. And he mm-hmm. did a great job. He did a great job as always. Yeah, I will I'm say it breaks credit. my heart I'm... that he didn't extend the music for you to close out because that's always the most impressive thing. I talk about that every time. Yeah, it is impressive how you time it. Yeah. It's, uh, timing is everything. You know, mm-hmm. you just got to know. Sometimes you're just like, oh, got to gotta slow down. Mm-hmm. Slow the strokes. Getting, um, we're not quite there. Speaking of that, <laughs> uh, I saw this clip right before we got on here, and I want to ask you guys' opinion, and then I want to ask your, your opinion on it, and then what you think the opposite sex feels and then obviously in your case jose you have dabbled in both sides so you are a king of content a for this whore. Question. <laughs> this whore this woman said they the girl this guy was at a concert or whatever and she was like half naked beautiful little model whatnot 
But this guy comes up and asks her an interview and asks her uh, two questions. First question was, do you, is it a turnoff for a guy to uh, take enhancements before having sex with you? And she said, no. Here's where the question comes in. I love when guys take that because I like to have sex for hours. And I have been told from many women that that is not true. Like there's hours. a period of time where you're like donezo. And I feel like it's an hour is pushing it, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it depends on who she's with an hour with. If she's an hour with you, you know, Big Dick <laughs> McGick, you know, that's the thing. An hour with me <laughs> where it's like fucking sticking a goddamn... I took Baby no, care. I took that as Taking pure a goddamn sex. straw down a fucking hula hoop. You know, that's <laughs> No, you got girth, not length, bro. So it's not a straw. You're more like a... A baby carrot. Like a cheese stick. <laughs> a cheese stick. Like a cheese puff, maybe. <laughs> like a cheese puff. <laughs> there you go, puff. cheese puff. <laughs> that's great. But my oh, question okay. is, is like, one, I, yes, I would love to have sex for hours. Am I capable of it? No, I get off very fast. It's just, that's, I'm a man. It happens. I'm, you're, you're <laughs> I'm a man. It just, it dude. happens. I say sorry after sex every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I wish I wish Emily would have the guts to come on this episode and tell you that because I am not lying when I say nine times out of ten I apologize every time. I'm like I'm sorry <laughs> every time. It's so uh, sad. That being yeah. said, though, you. what's well, her no, name? I, I think the it's one. It, what? It's it's the perfectionist in us. You know, me and Jason were. You know, we no matter how good or bad we were, we always feel like we could have did better. Is that is that what you're saying, Jason? I'm a I, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or, or anything like Here that. We go. I mm-hmm. don't understand how a man can come in, come in ten seconds, and then be like, Oh, you like that, babe? Like just be that naive. <laughs> you where, fucking like that? <laughs> where where me, it's like a people pleaser. Like I wanna make sure if if I'm having He's sex a, with you, it's just as fun because guys, we get off. It's we're He's done. not a we're selfish lover. He's not a selfish no. lover. He's not at all. Well, it's because like like getting a woman off is fucking hard right it's not an easy task so it's for guys and I, emily's like oh like, was that kevin great has for you? Oh, exactly. put kevin, kevin has down kevin is that great is that great i was like i got off I, it's great yes it's <laughs> yes great. it was I got off, it's great that's my thing we our, our bar is set it's very easy but with a woman it's different so that's why i i just i, I got it hours though i feel like hours has got to be too that's, much for a woman yeah that's it's ridiculous that's a, yeah, stupid i uh as I've mentioned before, I've dabbled into the Real Housewife franchise of shows because I am a cliche. And um, I was just watching uh, an episode with Michael right before the podcast where one of the it was one of the reu- it was a reunion at the end of the season, and she was saying oh, this girl is God. dating. This girl's dating Marcus you're about Jordan. Pippen. Mike, you're talking about Pippin. Are you talking about yes, Pippin? Larsa. Yes, oh Larsa. Yes. Larsa. Oh, Larsa Pippin said, uh, I love that you know this. They're not dating anymore, Jose? They're not dating anymore. I, I fucking love it. What the fuck is yes. happening right now? <laughs> well, uh, Chase's you wanna wife. You want to talk about Chase? Do you want to finish this? <laughs> yeah, Chase, no. you go ahead and please. Chase's I actually, wife. Do you I saw watch this Real though. Housewives of Mary Can- Canada? This is Miami. This is Miami. Yes. Oh, it's in Miami now. Oh, of course. Yeah, Kevin, come on. Obviously. So you this do is, watch uh, that, Chase? I saw the exact clip Chase, that he's talking about. do you watch about. it? No. Kind of feel like he did. I'm feeling I he might. Watch. Have I well, he might be walking by sure. because, yeah. because no, his I've wife watched, is definitely going to watch it. watch episodes for sure. It's like yeah. every guy that's okay. like, oh, my God, why do you have this on? And then, like, <laughs> they, like, walk by. And this sound like, just gets locked in. Wait, wait, what are you doing? I was watching that. No, I tried Mary. <laughs> why are you changing it? <laughs> I tried Mary crazy because she watches the, like, she'll have, like, the reunion on, and I just, like, just Those get intense. Ones. So, like, I ask all these questions, and then she'll just get annoyed and like be like, "I'll watch it later." Very. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, like, "I'm gonna turn it off now." Yeah, because you She's ruined like, it. Just shut up. <laughs> but but Larsa Pippen, uh, Scotty Pippen's ex-wife, who was until very recently dating Marcus Jordan, Michael Jordan's son, very <laughs> weird, um, mm. said that she and Scotty Pippen used to have sex fully to completion four to five times per night every single night which is i'm just like all the women on the show were like your poor vagina like how <laughs> why would anybody do that why did he scotty pivot he completed like four a, to five times they, that's what they, four to five she, she said he they completed couple, four both, to five times no each, and that's yeah each time to completion to ejaculation which i'm like that's a lie that yes. is a lie she's also that yes. is a lie. liar even on like my best, she is a huge liar. Even on like my very best night, like maybe, 
twice or three times, but never five. That's five. impossible that's, for a yeah, man to do. Well, that's let alone for what? Six. That's why you don't oh, have six. Not with that attitude. Is it? <laughs> that's true. That's true. So, like to your question, Jay, like I don't think any woman would want to have sex like for hours yeah. upon hours upon hours. Her, yeah, her back. Been, They'd be yeah, like, come on. I, I, when I was in college you. with, when I was in college with Erica, you know, and, and you know, we'd come back from, you know, Bullwinkles or something, and I would just, we'd just be going at it, and I'm it, it, like, thirty Whiskey minutes Nick. into it, I'm just like, I'm sorry, this, is, I don't, know. it's, <laughs> <laughs> I get, I'm it's sorry. not happening, and she's like, yeah, it's okay, it's fine, I, you know, obviously at that point she's done, you know, <laughs> uh, so you know, we just uh. Wrap it up and take a shower and go to bed. There you go. That's there fine. you have it. There's no reason to be a how fucking. At the, you know, we get you get so much into it. There's no reason to be a pro and fucking like I can go on all fucking night. Now I'm sure that there's some people that can. I think if the more alcohol, in the morning, yeah. uh, the more alcohol and drugs are involved, then you would be, maybe you want to go for hours like rock on. Yeah, great, there's a special kind of drug you yeah. using. You blue chew. What you doing? What was that? Dude, kombucha. if I get another fucking... I understand I'm an aging man, but if I get another fucking blue chew, <laughs> right. blue chew Bro, fucking I'm ad, gonna I'm going to kill myself. Well, it's just every fucking podcast that I <laughs> listen to. aging man. Like, I, it's aging. non... Bro, every other ad is blue chew, and they're like, hey, spray this pheromone on you, your wife will fuck you. I was like, no shot. My wife has smelled me, <laughs> yeah. like, a fucking And how many shower, bottles did you gym, order? She though. hates that smell. She hates so, my yeah. sweat. There's no Place way. Place my order now. <laughs> yeah. If I told There's my no wife, way like, that's going to work, but I am going to try it. <laughs> You're just yeah. going to attract feral gay men. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of attracting <laughs> feral gay men, all right, so I'm in here uh, gaming last night, right here where we're sitting. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the gay garage? I'm very gay garage. I'm very interested where you're going with yeah. this okay. in relation and, to uh, what we were talking about. And, I'm, oh. and we're playing some Hell Divers too. Jason's like, I'm going to go ahead and get off, you know, which is, you know, normal. Giggity. And it felt like it was a good time for me. I was a little, you know, I was Hell Divered out at that point, you mm -hmm. know. Played a couple games, killed us a bunch of aliens, hell divers out. Uh, so I was like, let me just go work on, you know, let me just fuck around with some editing shit. So I was going to make a little clip, which Jason fucking hates. Uh, uh, you'll see it soon on social media. Can't stand it. Worked hard <laughs> on it. Dove into some things that I wasn't used to. He hates it. Uh, but anyways, uh, in I hear my garage door to the garage open. And I'm like, who is it? Because usually it's one of the girls, oh, my tummy hurts, or oh. It's like Erica. And she's like, I'm fucking pissed about something I can't sleep. And I was like, come sit here on my lap. talk, Tell daddy about it, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so we talked for a little bit, and I was just like, the whole time she's talking, I'm fucking rubbing her ass, you know? Because like, we're in the garage now. This is Jason's mm -hmm. garage. garage Jason's now. gym, you know? If you fuck right now, I'm going to be <laughs> He Jason you. might be so mad. So <clears throat> we get to a point where it's like she finishes, you know, her rants, you know, and I listen like a good husband, and I gave her advice. <laughs> so now like she's turned husband. on. You're like, ooh, you listened. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, well, you know, if you, she's like, oh, I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. I don't know if I can. I was like, I mean, I can think of something. <laughs> <laughs> I already said the same fucking thing. Yeah, I'd be like, well, and uh, she was like. You got too many fucking cameras around here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, smart was like, girl, smart like, girl. Where can I? Where can I? Was I was like, I'll, I'll just let, no. I'll, I'll let babe. None of them are on. I like, do not trust you. <laughs> and she pointed to the mic because this mic's always got a fucking red dot because mm -hmm. it's always on. Uh, she was like, well, and the mic's on. No, I'm fucking. No, I was like, no, no, wait. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll the point the mic. I'll unplug the, the mic. <laughs> Oh yeah, Very good I will that. say, Kevin. Can you though, imagine you just be like, "I lost a, I lost a bet, so now we have to have sex on the podcast." <laughs> that's a fucking movie script right there. I mean, that's like make a porn movie or like uh, yeah. whatever is like. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's like, she's not wrong. Like, something could she get hit. Ass touches yeah. the wrong thing, and all of a sudden you're going live on Facebook. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I told her I was like, "Look, nothing's on." Yeah, but she didn't want to have. Yeah. So I mean, no, I, she, I still went fine. inside. You yeah, know, but yeah. Not Gig. the garage. Like, uh, I was like, come on, we Stop. can beat Jason. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we can do this. I can see that. Like, he gets off. <laughs> Fuck you, Jason. I did it before you. <laughs> what? No, don't worry about it, babe. You can no, no, it's on, fine. It's fine. You can hate all my editing shit all you want, but I fucked my girl. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny. <laughs> He's I, really hurt sleeping with Kevin, your wife. Kevin's but you're like, long. So, Kevin goes in at 
what two thirty in the morning sends uh, send y'all a bonus with a hat. Two forty five. Yeah, two thirty eight. <laughs> two forty five. Specific motherfucker. <laughs> send y'all a bonus clip. I had fun with this one. Smiley face. No captions though. Nine fifty one a.m. Y'all see it? I loved it. And then I respond, "Yeah, bro, we get it. Your face is all over it. I loved it. I would love it too. Fuck." Uh, and then I say, "Joking, it's really good." And then he sends me a depressed um, Mario walking in the in the rain. Uh, and then and then he sends another GIF of a man jumping out of a window, uh, <laughs> where I have I come There's back only, and give him give with, him uh, major pain sensitive uh, GIF with, uh, with sensitive. video editing. There's only one person that I need approval from, and that, when that guy I says, literally love "Yeah, it. I get I it, bro. Your fucking you. face is all over it. We know you did like he, it." Did he put the heart on it? No, nah, he didn't fucking LOL or nothing. Did he hurt it? Did he I hurt did it? too, bro. I'm what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> so anyways, There's we're going to go ahead. We're going to have a, a reveal of this uh, clip right now, just so you guys can see it. You ready? Like I'm going to show it off. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, he definitely loves this fucking clip. God damn. No, I know he does. You don't like it? No, I t- <laughs> We all said yes, we like it. Play the fucking clip, bro. Yeah, just play it now. Play the fucking beat. You can just yeah, load the file up. Yeah, 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 yeah. DJ Tommy, uh, What's a you could have just blowed the thing. file. I didn't have fun if I wasn't ready for this moment in my life, you know? Well, everything you're doing now, you could just load it up. Here we are. I'm a dumb and 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 you can't hear that? Nope. No. Nope. No. You know what we could hold here if you just load the fucking file up? You're right there. Just drop it in there. Anyways, uh, Jay, talk to him while I look. <laughs> <laughs> Distract why him. Just, why don't you just sing some more? Uh, no, please, God, no. Uh, Chase, uh, this is the Jesus, one. You've what's now done this, I think, now. three times, so I think it's officially it segment, and I will put a post-it note while you explain what this segment is to make an intro for this. But Spot the Fake, we're about to play it. I love it. I think it's a great idea. Tell us about it. This is Spot the Fake. I'm going to give you some category, and you have to guess which one is the fake one. Uh, we've done porn titles, uh, a couple other things. I can't remember the other ones, but this week we are doing athlete names. So these are names of athletes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Five of them are actual athletes. Athlete names. But and one of them the is a name that I made up. What the fuck? So we have <laughs> <Spot the fight. laughs> Credence Clearwater Kudo, <laughs> Dick Trickle, Love it. Chief Kicking Stallion Sims. Their parents huh. hated all of them. Emperor Johnson. What? Your what? Highness. Emperor or Emperor? Emperor Johnson. Emperor. Thank you. Thank you. Your Emperor. Highness Morgan and Neville Neville. <laughs> One of those is fake. All the rest are actual athletes. Yeah, next time we get one is up uh, 100% is clear, Clayton's Clearwater. You think it's Credence Clearwater Kudo? Uh, I'm gonna go with no. the obvious one that seems like it's probably easiest is the what was it Neville Neville what Neville Neville Neville, right. Neville Neville Sorry Jay I know that's right Jose Your Highness Your Highness Morgan Chris Yeah Keeping on the Chief Train or the Chef What the Chief one Chief Do that Kicking one. Stallion Sims Yep That ain't real Drum roll please because you are all wrong All Damn. of the people Fuck. you named. Uh, Jay, for the record, Neville Neville is actually the dad of a famous soccer player, Gary yeah, Neville. Come on, bro. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Up your soccer knowledge, please. Uh, Sorry, Dad. No one guessed Dick Trickle, huh? Sorry, uh, he is a real person, also. The fake one was Emperor Johnson. Emperor Johnson. Mm. Emperor Johnson. How many do you have? Do you have six? Dick six. Trickle. Six. <laughs> six. Six. Mm. I had six. six, and one was fake. Clear Credence Clearwater Kudo was a soccer player. Uh, Dick Trickle was a race car driver. Chief Kicking Stallion Sims that is a basketball sense. player. Mm. Your Highness Morgan is a football player. And Neville Neville, while being the dad of a soccer player, was actually a cricket player. Oh, cricket. What Neville Neville. Can't say that. <laughs> Can't do that, time, bro. bro. Neville Neville. We're in a time. Uh, you want to do a dad tip or trivia first? Which one? Your favorite 90s show. Oh. Pause. Hold on a second. They could have picked... Any 90s show. I didn't have any parameters here. You could have picked Full House, Saved by the Bell, Rugrats, Doug, uh, Fresh Prince, uh, Power Rangers. I don't care. You could have picked anything. But somehow all three of them did this. Are you afraid of the dark? 
I was leaning that way. Um, yeah, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, are You Afraid of the Dark? Which one would you guys have chosen? That was a lot of Kevin. Yeah, I man. It's like front and center. The it's whole tough time. when you're on the spot and you have to come up with something right away, man. What do you want from us? It's the first thing that comes into your head. Kevin. He's gonna start crying. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to do something, and I've told you many times to do it and you never do it. I've told you to like start streaming. I've told you to have your own segment on social media. I'm gonna tell you to do this again. <laughs> that angle that angle you know young lady that you did you want whatever that was all right one repeat, two no, no three no, no. Stop, <laughs> dead. i need you to do it again because here's the reason two reasons one it's a good angle it's flattering on you but two your eyes are perfectly on the on the on the rule of third where your eyes connect to the other eyes so i i'm just like zoned in on you i think you could actually have something if you could actually just do like rants or fucking whatever you do kev and just do that exact same position over and over again okay. specifically wearing mustard colored shirts sure that too yeah it has to be that color it that could be a ring it could literally you'd be like i'm at a stoplight and a fucking biker just walked in. i <laughs> fucking hate pissed him. off he's taking a <laughs> you giant give him a compliment out nothing. of the cock Thank you. Folks, I might not be a great video editor, but I <laughs> am a dad. Uh, just want to throw that out there. I'm a good dad. Um, and a lot of good dads, you know, do what they're supposed to do. And that's just, you know, kind of show. Do you have a leg one, too? Yeah. Oh, do we have the same? <laughs> you want to you want to you want to tell the Jason listeners has what a, we're looking at here? Jason has a bottle opener that is the leg of looks like from Lamp. the Christmas Lamp. story. Christmas story. That's Christmas story. But I, I just have a naked woman, so we're. We like, almost have a complete it. woman. Or do you have the torso, <laughs> or do you have the full body? <laughs> got the whole thing. Kevin's like, I got the whole thing. You paid extra. Jerk off to you twice it. a day. <laughs> uh, speaking of jerking off, let's talk about dad tip. Uh, just, just the dad just tip. Just kidding, Jake. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's not just show up to things, you know, like you see lots of like Instagram posts and TikTok things like it means so much. You know what, you young lady? Show up. Do you want to go to timeout? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't do that. It means so much if you show up. Just show up as a dad. Just show up. Just show up. Yeah, yeah fucking show up. All right. But be present as well, you know? Like if you sh- if you go to your daughter's practice, you know, let's just say like gymnastics practice tonight. You show up, yeah, you're there, you know. But your daughter, after every fucking thing, is going to look over to you for approval. And your daughter, or son, you know, rather, is going to look to you and be like, oh, how was that? You know, what do you think? Or they're going to be after the fact, be like, did you see that, you know, backflip triple lutz that I did? And you're going to be like, sorry, you know, I was looking at fucking, you know, TikTok rules for NCAA baseball and why they can't fucking celebrate anymore, you know, after they hit Grand Slams, game winning Grand Slams. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Seven Minutes Um, But, you know, make sure that not only, like Chris is right now, you know, like he's here and he's I'm on listening the podcast, to you. He's currently he just fucking checked out. So be <laughs> present. Still, still listening to you. Be present. Be actively watching your children. And give them fucking advice and give them uh, pointers. Give them feedback. Like my daughter at her volleyball game today, you know, was she in on every single play? No, but when she was in, I was fucking paying attention. Even when it the, the, the moment didn't involve her. And at one point, she tried to show up one of her teammates, and that was a teaching lesson for her. I was like, look, we don't. You know, the ball went in volleyball. The ball went between her and another girl, and Avery seemed to think that that should have been her ball. So she was like, "What are you doing? Like that's your ball." I was like, "No, we don't do that. You know, we don't show up our teammates. All right. If you want to say something to her, you say something to her kindly and nicely, and you explain why you think that you know it should have been her ball over your ball. But you don't you like throw your hands up in a fucking rant and you know go crazy like that. That's not the type of family we are. That's not who we are. So." Teaching moments, be there, but be fucking there. You know, that's but my dad tip. There. Can you go back to the scenario? I, I, oh, I think sure. it's great dad tip. I apologize. I was just curious about the, the scenario. So what happened She with, like, Avery kind of spoke oh, up. Oh, we're playing volleyball. Something. Yeah. 
she's in the front line and another kid's in the back line and uh-huh. a ball kind of went between them mm-hmm. and it should have been the back line girl Avery was in the front yeah. uh she was correct in her assessments gotcha. uh but she kind of like she was like like what are you doing you know that was uh, your ball like that should have been you what you yeah. know and instead, you know, like that's not the way I was ever taught. So that's the way I'm gonna teach my kids. You don't ever show up your teammates. There's nothing good that comes out of that. It's gonna end Karma's up causing rifts later on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you'll see that in sports as well. You know, if, if Aaron Rodgers, if he fucking every time there was a drop, how many times did you see Jordan Love this year throw up his hands? Like you ran the fucking wrong route. You fucking dropped that ball. None. But you saw that a lot from Aaron Rodgers near the end of his Packers career because he knew, in my opinion, that it was getting towards the end and this was kind of the last dance, you know. So he needs everybody to be perfection. Jordan Love's like, look, this is a learning moment. We, we're all in this together, you know. Yeah. So we need to fucking be all in this together. Bring it up afterwards. Bring it up, you know, in a timeout. Bring it up politely. Bring it up yeah. quietly. So if I'm- if I'm hearing you correctly, Jordan Love is way better leader, person, football player. Um, no, you're not hearing oh. that correctly. Oh, <laughs> my bad. No, oh, wow. That's thank what you I was for wrong. your assessment. We <laughs> Kevin, you're 100 percent right. There was yeah. one moment I will always remember, and it was playing softball on that big field in Tallahassee that we started the so- like the OG softball league, like mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. random one that we just played on with Sundays. Those guys. Yeah, I forgot his name. He lived. He lived near Roy across the street, um, Nebraska. I know you know him. Oh, Chase. Cole. Yeah, Cole. 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 He's a damn good athlete. Better athlete than I I ever oh. was. And well, and I he, disagree um, with that. But okay. He 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 was playing outfield. I was playing outfield. And you know how deep that outfield was. That was a yes. fucking ridiculous outfield. And he well, went in. No um, and it was the final out. If he catched it, we won. <laughs> if he missed it, they're probably gonna score and we lose. And this is, you know, how, this was a fun league. This wasn't an actual league. It was just, hey, no, a bunch we of us just met on the Sunday. Out on Sunday. We have enough even people. Even a league? Yeah. Are we calling it no, a league? No, I don't want to call it a league, but like I really do. Game. I mean, that's my favorite, I guess, team Yeah, we I played every of. single Sunday for like a year. It felt like, it felt like adult sandlots to me. It really had. It was really it's good. Hundred percent. I didn't what it appreciate. Was, and I, loved I didn't it. appreciate it at the time, but now I do because we had some really fun games. But that being said, Carlo or Carlos, Jesus, Cole. Colt went out and he was always kind of like acrobatic. Like he'll do like the crazy, like trying to snags and fun snags in the outfield. He was that kind of guy. So he went for a big dive, like over the top dive to catch it. He didn't need to, he was under it already and he missed it. And you guys won. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I was so pissed. And then like, I got home, him and I like uh, met up later on that night, smoked a bowl. And I was like, dude, I'm so, so he was pissed at me. He like, we walked away. Cause I was like being a jackass. Cause it was a fun game. <laughs> And I'll never forget that. I was like, I'll never, ever correct anybody ever again because yeah. I felt like a piece of shit. Well, it's not that you can't correct your teammates, okay? It's but how you do it. Yes, yes, how you do yeah, it. Yeah, and I did it right. horribly. <laughs> like, yeah. I was so I mean, pissed. Especially for a game that <laughs> literally matters. Not, yeah. Zero. At all. Zero we, percent. No, like, matters. Not at all. We, we would and sometimes bring we, a keg out to that field and play yeah. chase. And we would never ever. If know, nobody had today. beer out there, we were kind of like, or should we even play? <laughs> are we doing? What are we even doing yeah, here? We, yeah, we uh, we I don't even think we kept track of like the wins because the teams were always so different. So well, yeah, that was absolutely won. an adult yeah. sandlot. There was never uh, the same team twice. No, I remember yeah. this. It was out there. There was this one kid that was like a better hitter than I was, and like I was like, God damn, I just can't figure out why the fuck I can't make contact with, you know, hit like I should be right now. And he was like, Oh, just fucking. You're, you're, you're swinging way too early. Just hold back just like a, another like second. And as soon as I started doing that, I was blasting bombs. Yeah. And I was it's, like, yeah, you know, like, the, he, he, he could have been like, he could have stood me Not, up there. Yeah. Or he could have he could have been like, yeah, you're fucking terrible, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or something. But yeah, he was yeah. like, politely came at me and was like, look, hey, try this. Not like, yeah. I'm better than you. But he was like, try this. And he was fucking blasting bombs. And it was yeah. awesome. It was a, it was a great good ball. advice. Now I, I can't miss stand that, fucking now, softball's now, tough. Awesome. When you, if you play baseball your whole life, it's so hard. Yeah, it's 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 very hard. You like that advice that he gave you is fantastic because yeah. that's what I had to do too. Is you yeah. have to like when you're ready to swing, you have to stop yourself from yeah. swinging for a full like half second to a yeah. second, yeah. longer than you want to. Yeah, and it's so you. fucking because you're just like it's coming in so slow. I can curse the shit out of it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> and you had to like slow your swing down a little bit too. I felt. I felt like going mm-hmm. like 
too fast, like, is not the way – like, I remember Kevin when he would swing. He would swing, like, it felt Violently. like it was a slow <laughs> – but violent, but, like, slow. Like, it was like, I don't know if he's going to hit, and then you hit, and you're just – boom, and then it's Bink. gone. But it didn't feel like it was a lot of speed behind it. It felt like you were just like, ah, I'm going to just go golfing. But mm. it would go. <laughs> Speaking of uh, of uh, baseball diamonds – or things you do on baseball diamonds. How's uh, how's the prep coming, boys? We're coming up on the date soon. I don't know about days. Chris, but I'm uh, I'm deep into my speed training right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, Kevin did just run four miles a couple weeks ago. Chris just ran a five k four miler. I ran three miles two days ago. So I mean, a mile okay. less. So you're so behind. Less, Got yeah. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit behind on your training. <laughs> my speed, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you're gonna catch <laughs> up, Chris. Yeah, I don't know. I would say I really got to pick up the intensity. I, I will bet you a hundred dollars that his five k was faster <laughs> than my four mile. What was your time, Chris? Let's hear. Oh, I don't I know. Even you know my time. You know, I do not know. I sort of. No, I'm saying know. Chris knows. Oh, uh, like twenty. It was twenty five. It wasn't yeah, one of my better. Perfect. It was like twenty five. Yeah, was like I was in the forties. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you saved it for the end sprint, which is what you're supposed to do, right? Right. Well, I'm working on my speed. You know, my, yeah, exactly. My he's he's yeah. locked into speed training right now. Yeah. Yeah, no, one of you mean, guys. Yeah, like hamstring, I'm gonna laugh my ass you, off. That's you the saved one thing, it for no, like the I, last three. If I pull my hamstring out, that's that's the worst case. I, I I I don't care if I lose. Please, I do not want to hurt myself. Warm up, buddy. Well, no, thank Got you. Stretch. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate. You, I feel like I feel like your warm up. You'll be like, high knee, high knee. All right, I'm good to go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm that's what. Oh uh, yeah, because I'm fucking duh. Oh, I'm sorry. You listen to your right. That's my bad. That's my bad. Fucking duh. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if I don't hurt myself running around softball bases, I think you'll be fine, Kevin. You're in better shape. I than used I to remember am. yelling at Chase, yeah. like, Chase, slow up. Don't pull the hammy, Chase. Slow no down. Way I'm in better shape than anybody in the world right now. There's zero. That's percent. just false. World. There's a lot of people I can, I can world. think. I think it'll Anyways. Um, I'm not going to say the names, uh, but there's a few. Trivia. Definitely Ooh, better in shape than Lizzo. Why did you for do sure. my dad tip first? Yeah, I definitely misunderstood. I thought you meant trivia was just for seven minutes. You had trivia for that and this. No, I have both. Oh, okay. yeah. no, you said he had one of each. Why did you both. make my dad tip? Chris? Both. both. What? what? Why did I end your dad tip? Yeah, no, my dad tip is always the last segment before. He's confused why dad tip is oh, like, like, first. like, why did I not close? Oh, yeah, actually, Jason brings up a to... very good point. No, no, he's Where's right. He's right. I was trying to get him off my bag. He was fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling me I was not giving you. I was giving no, you a compliment. Yeah, yeah, they anyway, doc, the doc. Trivia, guys. Trivia first. Trivia. Moving on. Moving on. We are teachers.com. What are oh, you? God, what are these websites? <laughs> what? They, like, what are you, where are you going? Facts.net. <laughs> the deep di- uh, dark web. Deep dark web or deep, deep dipe web. That's weird. Where That's are we going are right you, now? When are you the most creative? Average person, obviously, not you specifically. Okay. When are you the most creative? Is it during shower? Sex. Showers. During sex? During house chores, during masturbation, or during workouts? It's got to be showers. Masturbation. I've masturbation. Because you're, you're thinking about something, right? Like, you know, you're you're it's really true. getting creative with what you're... It's no. masturbation. Like, you're building a whole thing for fucking, yourself. I'm not thinking about anything other than the task at literal hands. <laughs> <laughs> so you just sit off guy. thinking about your dick? Like... What? No, just I'm not thinking his his about dick, my like, dick. I'm thinking about the fucking what's happening in front of me. Yeah, I know it's not specifically us, but for me, it's definitely showers. So that's what I'm going with. I've heard okay. several people say shower as well, and I'm not gonna let Chase get this point without me. So. <laughs> that's a uh, you know throwback. But girl in the frozen lake, uh, every like thing that I came was up a with was in the shower. So you oh, were shit. naked when you came up with that whole thing. Why didn't you that? tell me that oh, before? Unless he showers. Rain <laughs> while he showers. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Created <laughs> while naked. Yeah. Created so, in the nude. Chase and Kevin are showers. Jose is sex or masturbation. Masturbation. Sorry. And Chris? Go in sex. I'll go sex. This is teachers. It was either masturbation we, or sex. Not, they're really going to do sex and masturbation they as might. the answer? I, I don't teachers think it's, would be freaky. I don't think it's we freaky, are freaky. teachers.com or .net. No. 
Nah, it's weird something. Maybe it's not teachers. I don't know. Well, <laughs> he don't even know what it is. So right. now Clearly sex Jesus is looking is better. Just making shit it up. Be <laughs> He's just winging it. Dot, dot net. Like, CO bullshit, dot org. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so we got sex. We got masturbation. And we got two uh, showers. Shower. Two for the shower. Two showers. You can put it on the board. Yes. Trivia. Chase. Yeah. Kevin. Let's go. We up nice. there, baby. I, like I got on the both, board. Uh, Chase finally on the board, boys. <laughs> Bro, we're in a fucking march, and I just got on the board. So I mean, it's crazy. The board, the board right now is. I mean, it's still up for grabs. It's so oh really? Good, uh, <laughs> two, 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 two. It sorry, could be two, it could be fifteen one. to one right now. It's still up for fucking grabs. It don't goddamn it's matter. That's <laughs> true. Matter. But but it's harder. Christmas. It's harder to come back. Yeah, so hard, dude. Really hard okay. to come back right. in the last episode and okay. win everything. All right, mm-hmm. just be better, you know. Yep, that's the point. Uh, speaking of big boards, real quick, I'd like to update the emoji game that we play on Tuesdays, Thursdays. Uh, at noon Easter time. If you haven't played, it's in our. Uh, is it the CTC or is it? It's just CTC. Now. How it's, it's are the, you not familiar with this? CTC. No. The CTC. Please. Hey, repeat wait. You that. drop these at noon every time now? Yeah, it's always I been noon Easter time. Noon what? On East? Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon. Uh, and if no one gets it, then I give a hint on Wednesdays and Fridays. But there's no time for that. I saw it's that. What was right the hint this year? Or this, this <laughs> it was uh, Kevin uh, dressed up like Quail Man yeah. uh, for his cape, for Cape Fear. Which yes. had nothing. Oh, okay. I was going to say it had nothing <laughs> to do with the. I said it's what uh, Quail Man has on his back. Okay. Cape. Cape Fear. Uh, so anyways, first place is Rob. Second place, Dustin Cosgrove. Uh, then we have Naomi. Come on, Dustin. Kayla and Mike both have three. Uh, Bill has two. John and Danny with one. So it's still anyone's game because, I mean, you could win both next week, and that's six points right there, and you'd automatically be in third place. Dustin may not know that you and Rob are best friends. You want to let him know? This is a good time matters. to tell him. It's a good time to tell him. Just in case. Chase, Chase, how do you come up with these? Is it a website? or No, no. This? Mary and I come up with them. Oh. How many do you have, like, uh, already put together? Uh... I don't really have many put together. For the most part, we just kind of like bounce ideas off of them like the day before, night before. Um, and then, like, I, I haven't come you up with tomorrow's out the yet. I could. Mm. No, I can't because, oh. like, a lot of times I'll come up with like a movie or TV show that I think is great and then I'll search in the emojis and I'm like, I can't make that work. Yeah. So do you, just for search, do you just type the name of the movie or the show and see what emojis it? Um, um suggests or do you like get a little like for favorite? men who stare at goats like i'll find a little man and then i'll do like the little googly the eyes. eyes yeah, yeah. and then uh, and then the goat yeah so that's it's just that's easy. but sometimes it's kind of a reach like the Armageddon, yellow like, like yellowstone when i did yellowstone there's no like stone there's a diamond so that's when i had you to think do, you like, do, the do the color a diamond is dallas? a stone so it is jose that's what i'm could saying could you do so. debbie does dallas That'd be hard. I believe he, I believe he could. That would be difficult. It would be. I believe in you. I don't think there's an emoji. I, do. I, of, I don't think you there's an emoji like that a, would relate to Dallas. Maybe Texas. You could do like a, like a little dancing girl. She could be Debbie, mm-hmm. and then you could do like the okay, yes. the for okay does, yeah. with the with the, the pointing for does, mm-hmm. and, oh. and, then, and then Dallas. You Dallas could do like a star. Is- Oh, yeah. there you go. Da-da-da. That would Just be did it. hard. That's yeah. hard. I know, but I well, think I, need, I think one. I have to if make Rob them is, If Rob is fucking winning, it's got to be easy. So Yeah, I think these <laughs> are, like, I'm going to start trying to do harder ones because Skin, Rob. some of the Skin. easier <laughs> ones, it's really just who does who says it first. And there's been some really fucking close ones. Well, and you um, send them to Rob first. Obviously. He approves them, Clearly. and it's like, okay. Yeah. Rob, what do you uh, think but yeah, about there, this? I mean, All there's right. been ones where literally, like Facebook, I can't even tell who did it first, so I just gave them both the points. And then there's other ones where it's like literally 15 seconds apart. Hmm. So they got to be harder. Got to be harder. Y'all hmm. remember that scene with Kenny Powers riding the jet ski? Yes. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> that was my only thought. It's, it's a great, good scene. It's a great scene. It's a good fucking scene. <laughs> Kevin, you want to wrap this bad boy up? 
All right, folks, wrap make sure up. you wrap it up. All right, don't fucking uh, go in there all mm-hmm. dick bald and everything. Uh, raw. Make sure mm-hmm. raw dog that. Don't raw dog raw. that. Raw dog don't raw dog that. Chest uh, make sure back. <laughs> make sure you follow us on Cup to Cup Show on all social sites. Uh, Neuro gum, ignore everything. I'm talking about raw dog and just ignore it. Uh, Cup to Cup Show on all What's social up? sites. Uh, you can find us on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. Um, you can also find us on X, formerly known as Twitter. Mm-hmm. You can find us on Instagram as well. Um, the CTC OnlyFans is a kind of our Facebook group where we like to go on there and have a grand old time. All the people on there are always posting funny shit. We have a great time. If you're not a part of that, be a part of it um, because it's good times. Visit our website. Cup to cup life.com. On there, you can find Visit our, our merchandise store. That was such a great transition. Visit our, web- Visit our website. <laughs> that was great. I Thank like you. It. Uh, you can find our merchandise. Uh, I think most of us are wearing merch right now. I got my uh, Libra mustard, season shirt Libra on. Season. Libra season. The mustard color, of course. And uh, my cup to cup hat as well. <sighs> I'm about to do for another uh, hat. I think we need to probably get another hat out there. New, I, know. I owe shit. Mike a fucking flag. I mean, I, I just punched me in the face. I think I designed something, and then we're like, ah, we like it, but we didn't like it a lot. So I was like, I don't want to put it out there. Jose and Chase are both wearing the rainbow shirt. I need shirt. It right there. Uh, well, Chris wanted to interrupt me and tell me he needs it right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he sure did. Chris, show me where you want it. Just make sure everybody knows. <laughs> just for you know, it's right there. Okay, Chris got a big empty space right there. That's where the flag is going to go. Oh. Careful. Flag. Uh, okay. <laughs> what you call me? <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you go check out our merchandise. Go buy that. Uh, we love the support. We love you guys so much. Uh, and, uh, you know, have a great evening. Go check out our Seven Minutes in Heaven. If you haven't listened to that, Chester made an appearance. I haven't fucking, I didn't tell him to. I was like, look, if you want to, you can do it. And he was like, give me the fucking mic. And I was like, all right, chill out, dude. So he he did grow out a mustache. I can't. <laughs> nothing I can do about that. All right, so. chill out, dude. <laughs> All right, chill, man. Chill, Don't bro. treat me like one of your chill, stingrays. Bro. Yeah, he did. Um, Jay, you got anything did else? He? No, bro. That was beautiful. I appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just like he appreciates that clip that you made. Bye. Oh, that's he loves it. Oh, brought that Jeez, up. Don't try to start. <laughs> Jose, thanks for coming on. Yep. Not Jose, last question week. I got. Have you guys fucked in that hammock? <laughs> that in, is a sex hammock. It is has not to a be. sex hammock. I, was gonna <laughs> say, I don't believe I was gonna you. Say, am I going to make it the whole show <laughs> without nobody bringing up the hammock behind me? I just realized uh, it was a hammock. I thought it was like a, a weird cross or some uh, sort in the back. And then no, I was like, oh, no, it's a hammock. hammock. And then it didn't take more than two seconds to realize, like, did they fuck in it? Have you tried? <laughs> so have you. Can it hold? Can it hold? What's the max weight? Whoa, that's a fa- whoa. Is that oh, offensive? Wow. Is that a fat joke? Just a is question. That a fat joke? Uh, is that a fat no, it's a four hundred pound joke, joke of having two males sit in a fucking hammock and then thrust into it. I want to know the weight because <laughs> if, if if it holds that, I'm gonna bring and bring one to my house. Like it's a hammock, I, but it's, but it's more. Offensive. It's a hammock. You think that we're four hundred pounds? Um, yeah. you're, you're not two hundred pounds. I I feel like we're all. I'm actually pounds. not two hundred pounds. Holy I'm shit! Oh, good for you, bro. Congrats, that's dig awesome. your man. Just keep digging. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm 200. Oh. I feel. I know. I feel like. I feel like if you're 200, you're a fat fuck. I'm Solid gonna go 190. Solid oh, 190. thanks a lot, bro. Appreciate you. <laughs> Chris is like, I haven't broke 130 since fucking. So are you shitting me? I just hit 150. Are you kidding? You weigh 150. No, pounds. I'm fucking Stop. joking. I do not weigh. I weigh more than 150 pounds. I'm so gullible. I'm like, come of on. Course I'm I'm of course, I weigh more than that. that. I am the worst. Come like on. we play the game of guess the kid, like how old they are, and I can't. I'm like, oh, he's four, and the baby, the mom's like, oh, he's sixteen months. I'm like, oh, damn, I'm so bad. <laughs> that kid is good. clearly seven. Yeah, that's an eighteen year old kid. Yeah, 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 for yes. sure. Yes, this is a high school. Is a chick. What are you doing? <laughs> also, why are you playing that game? That's a weird. Game. <laughs> uh, I don't know because it's fun. My wife likes to make fun of me. I'm sorry, bro. I apologize. Hate your clip. Later on that note, bye. Bye. Holla. Excuses. <laughs>